morning people welcome back to the overwhelmed woman i'm emma and if the whole thing about getting older and the feeling of invisibleness that often comes with that is getting to you then you're not on your own and i just thought i'd share a little story about the beautiful olivia newton john and my own thoughts on this for anyone that's feeling pressured to stave off getting older because you know let's be honest age is something that we can't stop and um, we're encouraged in this society that we live in to stave it off and fight against it and remain ever youthful and defy getting older with anti-aging products but you know what is age such a bad thing i don't believe it is i see it as a wonderful thing full of opportunities and um, it's a privilege denied to many so many people are taken from us in this life far too soon without ever having the chance to lead a longer meaningful life but we still seem to make being old a terrible terrible burden and um, that's a real shame and uh, do you know what, We're, that's compounded by advertisements where products are marketed by people that look like they're not even going to see a wrinkle for another 20 years. And um, reality TV shows are heavily weighted towards uh, displaying bright young things without many clothes on, which I have no problem with, by the way. And sometimes it makes for compulsive viewing, but it's a little bit hard to relate to that when you reach a point like I have when I got eat when I get emails sent to me about the benefits of tenor lady <laughs> and my go-to items are big cotton, cotton pants and thermal base layers because I do like to be warm and I do like to be comfortable. <laughs> Oh dear, but you know what, um, I was 48 a few weeks ago, I'm two years off 50 and in my mind I was 25 about five years ago, where has that time gone? Um, it's gone in the blink of an eye and it's something that's going to happen to all of us and we can get bogged down by all the crap around us, if you will excuse my French, or we can kind of focus on the things that matter and I think it's really damaging when we are constantly encouraged to fear getting older because it's an inevitable part of life that we can turn to our advantage God willing because that is also largely dependent on your physical health in mind and body but let's be honest you know those issues can impact us at any age not just being older um, and I've seen some amazing examples of people really embracing their older years and another example of that is my beautiful friend Corinne who was put on furlough in her 60s decided to have a go at doing pen and ink drawing which she'd never done before and unearthed this incredible talent that she's been able to cultivate towards making a growing business and another friend in her late 60s early 70s Christine I'm not entirely sure but um before Covid hit us decided to go back to university to do an art degree um something she'd always wanted to do but real life got in the way I hope that when I retire I will be um volunteering at a local charity shop and using my natural flair for accessorising <laughs> to uh, make those shop windows look like something off Selfridges. You know what, we live and dream, don't we? But what I'm saying is we're pressured enough to feel bad about getting old without doing that stuff to ourselves, without making ourselves feel low in the process. And the way I look at it is... We should take a leaf out of other communities and uh, countries around the world that really champion their older people because of their age and the life experience they have and the com contribution they've made to their communities. So the older they get, the more respected and revered they are. And so they should be because they say that age is that youth, sorry, is wasted on the young. And it's so true because... The benefit of hindsight and life experience and age is invaluable and you only have to look to the generations before you that you've loved and lost to know how, in, how true that is because I think many of us have taken our own, um, have been influenced, our behaviours, our attitudes, the way we are so much by those behaviours and attitudes and values of the people that we've loved before us. They've been massively influential in our lives and invariably many of those people have been much older than ourselves. So if you're feeling flat about being old, just big yourself up and you know you may not be surrounded yet 
by people that really recognise your true value. And you may not in this life, you know, it might be that you don't find that stuff out till wherever we go in our ethereal journeys after this life that we're in now. But um, just know your worth and believe it. Um, and this does link with the whole thing about being invisible because it's not just about age there, it's other stages of our life. Having a baby makes you feel invisible. You know, you know, you don't mind the natural shift that goes towards your children, but you often then become defined as a parent and not the person that you used to be and the person that you still are. And you can actually start to feel very invisible there, um, as is the case if you've ever been dumped, especially by a younger model. Nothing's going to make you feel more invisible than that. Redundancy is another example of that, as is when your children grow up and leave the nest. But you're only as invisible as you allow yourself to feel. And, uh, you know, I try to remind myself every day that I'm not perfect by any means, but I'm pretty fabulous in my own right. And um, I don't expect everyone else to agree with that, but I know my own worth. But I have to say, it's taken me till I'm almost 50 to get to that stage with a lot of life experience and hardships along the way. But all the stuff I used to worry about, do you know what? I don't. It really isn't important. I don't like the fact that I'm getting older. You know, my hair falls out in handfuls sometimes due to the joy of crazy menopausal hormones that hit me at 38. Um, my joints ache pretty much all the time and I hate the wrinkles on my neck, but I am so grateful to wake up every day and get the chance to get some more. So um, look, like fine wines and national treasures, you become more valuable with age. And as beautiful Livia Newton-John said once, you know, she spent years denying her age, hating it when birthdays came around, until her diagnosis with cancer. And since then, she celebrates every year that she gets to be another year older with as much gusto as she can muster, because she's recognised how privileged she is to have another year on this earth and if you are older let me reassure you right now that you are fabulous because of it so if you're overwhelmed remember you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together just doing the best we can we all deserve to lead a clutter-free life emotionally and physically i'd love you to drop a like in the video subscribe to the channel and share the love and um poke me and prod me and all of that stuff that they do and leave a comment actually if you knew so i can actually thank you um but until next time massive love as always and now i'm gonna go and get a cup of tea